All right, we are back. We have our darling little Pilecki here, who is level 61, which is incredibly cool. In fact, I'm gonna actually have to change the playlist from leveling from zero to 60 without killing to leveling from zero to 70 without killing since I didn't get her all the way to 60 before Dragonflight launched. Oh well. Life goes on. Today we are going on a tour. It's going to be so much fun. I love touring. I think um, I'm going to try and find a bunch of stuff that I found while I was uh, on other characters. And hopefully I can find it again on Belarayo. I think I just called her Pilecki because that is just where my brain is. But yeah, I think we're going to try and find it again. It will be a lot of fun, hopefully. Also, hopefully you all can hear me. Uh, my mic is on, but it doesn't register my, um, my voice anymore for some reason. It's been really messing with my mind. It's also incredibly annoying, so hopefully it will work. But, be that as it may, we're gonna go flying around the Dragon Isles and picking flowers and also getting these flight paths. I'm not sure why I'm getting flight paths with her, but you know, because why not, obviously. But yeah, I found some really cool things, including a place to go and hopefully make a snowman. Which I think will be a lot of fun, because who doesn't want to go make a snowman? I mean, real life me doesn't actually want to go make a snowman, but you know, details. But yeah, we'll, we'll get some leveling. Oh hey, we've unlocked a major faction. Actually, the Dragon Isles also has a few quests that Blarayo can do that involve zero killing. Which everybody should know by now is... Like, the thing. Uh, we also need to go back... Back, 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 back. Where am I? That's where I am. Okay. Um, need to go back over and see if I can make it to the Emerald Skyway. Or not the Emerald, the Ruby Skyway. And unlock a little bit of dragon flying stuff. Because otherwise... I will only have three little bars. Which, I mean, I can get around on. It'll be fine. But, why not give myself one more, at least? Mm. Also, I just absolutely love... I, I really have been enjoying Dragonflight a lot. Which is something I usually don't enjoy the stuff right when it first comes out. Because usually it's kind of a pain in the butt. Alright, blow me backwards. I know you're gonna do it. No? Alright, that works. Dig it. Alright, where am I? I am... I need to get to... Do, 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 do. I need to get all the way back over here somewhere. Oh, well, we'll figure it out. So it's been a week. I think that is one way of putting it. It hasn't been a good week. So, you know. I guess it could have been worse. No, it couldn't have. Who am I kidding? It was a terrible week, but that's okay. Life, she does eventually go on. And I think I might be getting close to where I need to be. Also, yay! Let's see if I can pick that herb. Yay, look at that. I'm so proud of myself. 
Also, I probably need to move this dragon down here to where it's easier to find. <laughs> Hopefully, I won't get eaten by any of these dragons, because that would be terrible. I would be very, very sad if I got poor Blorio eaten by dragons too many times. Also, let me know if you want me to turn up the music, because I think they did such a good job with the music in this expansion. Like, it's almost ridiculous how good they did. Am I even where I want to be? Yeah, I am. Okay. I think the worst part about Dragonflight is even though I keep finding a lot of really awesome things, I also keep realizing that I get lost really easily. Oh, there's a kite. Very cool. I still haven't found all of these kites, but there is a, a achievement if you can find and release all of the hope kites. Which I think is pretty cool. Alright, now where are we? That is a very good question. I think we need to go this way. Ooh, what's this? That's pretty cool. Can I do this world quest? No, I can't. There's also rock climbing in this expansion, which is kind of hilarious and awesome. And hopefully I can go to enough of the places to unlock this since I've unlocked everything on one of my characters. So hopefully once I get to the right area, We'll be able to do some world quests with Florio, because there are some of those that are rock climbing and not killing anything. Which I think is exactly little Florio's cup of tea. Ooh, hopefully those guys aren't going to kill me, because that is something I would like to pick. Where am I? I feel like I say that a whole heck of a lot. Oh, I am way off where I need to be. Alright, let's go back this way. And see how far we can get. We'll do a little rest right here. It'll be fine. Oh. Now, at some point, remind me to go and grab a kitty cat because, you know, you gotta grab a kitty cat. Might not be able to grab one of them anymore, but uh, I see a Parky and a Jezebel over on the couch, so... Is this where I need to be? I think this might be where I need to be. No. But we're getting there. <laughs> I need to figure out the dragon racing because it's kind of fun. I'm just very, very bad at it. But you know, we were all bad at things at one point. And eventually we get better. At least that's the idea. I think that's the idea. Hmm. I don't want to uh, run into you, but I do need to see where I am. Should be... Right around here somewhere. Up we go. Yay! Thank you. 
I think this is probably the biggest issue that people might have with dragon flying as a way to get around is you do actually have to stop and rest quite often. I'm okay with it though. It means I have to stop and look around. Which makes me find a lot of sometimes really cool stuff, honestly. Come on. Climb up there. There we go. I should be able to. Yay, we made it all the way up to the top. Huzzah! I am very proud of myself. Oh, there is a really awesome quest that we could do. Although I kind of also want to make a video out of it, so I'm not really sure if I want to or not, but I know I can Welcome, take her friend. quest. Please be careful. And definitely friend. go deliver this thing for her. I probably should have read that quest out. Sorry about that. <laughs> Poor Blarayo. She looks so little compared to the uh, the Drac there. I don't even think she comes up to that character's knee. Which, well, funny is still a little bit. I think we can probably take this baby dragon's quest too. She says, Happy Duck got hurt while we were flying around. He was doing so good and then I hit a tree. <laughs> and if you look, you can see she's got a little duck stuffed animal on her head. His stuffing is falling out, his feathers are bent, and one of his eyes is gone. You can help fix Happy Duck, right? Of course we can. We just need to get five feathers, three pieces of fabric, and a glass bead. We can completely help fix Happy Duck. Have faith. We've got this. <laughs> also, we can turn in this quest. Hello, there you go, Mr. Bright. See you around. Excellent. I've been meaning to get things. Thank you. You're welcome. See you later. I would love to, Have but that one. would involve me killing Thomas, so I can't exactly do that. But we can talk to these guys and see if they have scraps of fabric. Our fire cleanses. Do you have any spare scraps of fabric? Life persists. Alas, I have not any to spare. Life what about you? Binder be with you. Do you have any? Protect the yes, flame. Yes, I can spare a scrap of cloth as long as you don't mind the stains of horth horn polish. Hey, Becky, it's good to see you. Well, we're going to do things all around the Dragon Isles, which means we're going to do cute things if I can find them. Um, I found a spot on one of my other characters, and I hopefully will be able to find it again, where we can build a snowman. Like, no killing, nothing to do around there, but we can, we can build a snowman. Cleanses. And we're helping this adorable baby dragon right here. Look at her, isn't she cute? We're helping her fix her stuffed animal. We're getting scraps of fabric. Life persists. Oh, she can't part with any. Can you part with any? Warm welcome, champion. Hello, yes, do you have spare crap? Honor scraps? the life binder. Of course. Oh, a piece of a banner from a foe that he vanquished. Lovely. And then we just need... Do you have any scraps of fabric, sir? No? Rude. Alex Straza sees Ma you. Ma'am, do you? Replenish ah, the aisles. Yes, from an old cloak that kept her warm. Well, that's lovely. Now we need to find a new eye for for Lilistraza's stuffed animal, and we need to pick up some feathers. We can do all that. It'll be fun. All right, feathers, feathers, feathers. We need to find feathers. 
I've been having so much fun in this expansion. I think because they took a lot, I mean, there's a lot of stuff that's, you know, killing and all that, but there's so much other stuff to do in this expansion that it's kind of a thousand percent just my type of expansion. I keep joking that I'm pretty sure that they did this expansion just for me. I mean, I know that they didn't, but still. Alright, that, that's two of the feathers we need. Three feathers, yay! Four feathers! Huzzah! Soft, ruby-colored feathers. Now we just need to find a gemstone, and we will have everything we need to fix the stuffed animal. which I will be very, very pleased to have done. Yay! All right. There it is. Ooh, that's a very pretty gemstone, too. My arms are too short to reach it. Hello, we need, duck. We need a new eye for Happy Duck. Yay! We got everything! Now we just have to find someone who knows how to put it back together. If Lucy were here, obviously Lucy could crochet a new happy duck. But since she's not here, we're going to go ask this nice Torin lady if she can sew it all back up for us. Greetings, traveler. Friend on the mend. On guide you. Anything to help. Beware the deep places yes, of yes. the earth. Yes, yes, these materials should be plenty to repair your happy duck, young one. Thank you for bringing this important matter to my attention. It should just take a moment. Together, we Yay. are High Mountain. Did it, and even better, we got our very own lucky duck, which is just too cool. Let's, let's get out our lucky duck. We just have to go to the toy box and search for it. And then use it. And now, if I can zoom in on us, look, we have a duck on our head. Is that not the cutest thing ever? <laughs> okay, I am, I am very easily charmed. I can't help it. You know... I like cute things. So, now we're going to attempt to find our way to the dragon riding trainers and see if I can get another, another energy circle so we can fly farther, obviously. I feel like that's a grand idea. I'm trying to remember if I would have had to have done any of the other stuff to get the official Dragon Flight training. But I can't remember and I'm not seeing the quest for it popping up, so I'll just have to cheat my way to the, the Dragon Flying Trainer. Not that it's really cheating, it's fine. Because we just need to go, if I remember correctly, it is, I think, right over that way. So off we go. Yep, it's right up here. I think I did it. Yay! I'm so proud of myself. It takes me so little to be proud of myself. I mean, I guess that's better than never being proud of yourself, so I'm not going to complain too much. 
All right, dragon training lady. We will lady. not repeat our ready. history. Let me open this up. Can I? Oh, I can. T all right. Yes, I want to get all of these things. Thank you very much. Now we have four charges of vigor. That one. And I want that one. And I want that one. <laughs> I'm getting all of the things. Hmm. Yes. That one, and we're out of we have things, been scattered but that's okay. So long. We got all of the things now. Now we can fly just about forever, which is quite a little bit of fun. And that means we can go darn near anywhere we want to. Which is cool. But what I really want is to find all sorts of things like herbs and ore so that I can maybe actually get my, uh, my character leveled up without killing anything, which is the goal of this playthrough. I was thinking of other just utterly ridiculous playthroughs I could do when this is over. I don't know if any of them would be interesting, but it would be funny. I was like, I could do a playthrough where I do kill, but I can only walk. No running for my character. That could be quite hilarious. Oh, there's a painting we can do. Yay! I don't even know what the point of this painting is, but we're gonna go complete this painting. We're also going to stand here so that we don't get stunned by the rousing frost that just got us. Come on. There we go. Because I want to paint this painting. Is it a pretty painting? Oh, it is a very pretty painting. Look at that. We are painting a waterfall out in the middle of nowhere. We completed a masterpiece! Look at that! We feel as though we've created something worth worthwhile. Lucy, hello! I was just saying that we, we really could have used you. One of the quests that we just did was to repair the little uh, stuffed animal that's sitting on our head. It was very cute, and we had to take it to a tailor to get it fixed. And I said, if Lucy were here, she could fix it for us. Alright, let's go across the water. All the way up. Or at least a lot of the way up. I have been so impressed with this expansion. And I know I keep saying it, I just can't help it. I've been having a lot of fun with it. All right, nothing here that will kill me? No? Good. Because, you know, dying is bad. I'm also a little bit afraid because there's a treasure up here, which probably means there's something guarding it. I don't see anything, though. So let's see if we can grab that. <laughs> All the ducks are yelling at us. <laughs> That's kind of adorable. I'm telling you, it does not take much to make me happy. Give me something cute and I am completely satisfied. And at this point, just about everything in this expansion is definitely hitting the cute. Well, see, I was saying you could have crocheted us the, the lucky duck. That would totally work. You know? It's okay. It was just one of those things I was like, this seems like quests that 
all of the people that usually watch me would probably get a kick out of. Oh, why am I yawning already? So, did anybody get hit with the, um, the storm? I mean, I got hit, but it wasn't nearly as bad as they said it was going to be, so I'm kind of happy about that. I mean, yeah, we, we got eight-ish inches of snow, but it could have been so much worse. So I'm trying not to complain at all about it. Because like I said, it could have been so much worse. So. And our wonderful neighbor, Roger, came by and plowed out the driveway for us. Which is great because I don't know if I had mentioned it or not. But our snowblower decided to die, which made me very sad. It was probably my own fault. I'm thinking I probably... I probably overdid it on some of that really heavy snow that we got. Either that or when we lost power while I was actually pushing it around, that could have been what happened as well. I'm not sure which one it was, but I'm sure it was one of those. Alright, I think... We can just go out this way. Because there is a couple of really cute things out here. Like, a health spa! It snowed all night. Ah, uh, that's like, it was, um... Like I said, we got about 8 inches, but just to the north of us, like maybe 30 miles north of us, they got 21 inches of snow. So I'm like, okay, I only got 8 inches, I'm gonna try not to complain about that. So I'm not sure if there are ever any quests that are associated here. But they have a random floating health spa that you can go to. And it's so cute. Look at, look at, look at. That is so cute. I am listening. He's got a little baby. Oh my gosh. The cuteness factor in this is just, it, it kills me. Like, I really would like this guy to give me a massage, but he says... You no pay, you no get muscle squishes or bone stretches. Spine lengthening for guests only. But I, I was told I would give given a complimentary. Me not complimentary, only derogatory. Also, got a waiting list. <laughs> it's so dumb, and it makes me so happy. They're, they're polishing up this person in his wetsuit. And then over here, we're, we're doing some painting. Very nice. Gotta love all this painting. And around back, they're doing hoof treatments for any, any and all of their hoofed friends. So you've got a couple of Tauren with their hooves. You've got a nice horse. You've got a Draenei who also has hooves. And a centaur over here getting their hoof hooves done. It makes me happy. I can't help it. Oh, can I drink the tea? I want to drink the tea. Hello, yes, I would like some of this tea. Thank you. Hmm. Ten minutes of serene flame tea. Lovely. Alright. Now, where do I want to go? I want to go to all sorts of places, but I should probably go to Valdraken first. Which is... where again? Oh yeah, it's right there. It's that big thing right in front of me. I could use a hoof treatment too. Like, not gonna lie, my hooves could probably use a little bit of a treatment. 
especially considering I keep chewing on the sides of them. I probably shouldn't call my fingernails hooves, but you know, I'm going to. Alright, what was I going to do in here? That's a good question. I forgot what I was actually going to do. Other than run around and look at the pretty city. Then we're going to he head out to the Azure Span and see if we can find the place to make a snowman. Because I want to make a snowman. And pick flowers. You know? Picking flowers and making snowmen. That is what we do. Also, I found one other thing here that is so cute. Like, I just keep finding cuter and cuter things, and one of the very cute things that I found is right down here. I guess I'll grab this flight point while I am up here. <laughs> You're half unicorn. And here I would have thought you were all uniform, Becky. Alright, I need to aim myself that way. You guys want to see um, baby dragons everywhere? I found the daycare facility. For dragons! Dragon daycare! Like, everybody needs to, to take care of their baby dragons. They're so cute. <laughs> So this is the Little Scales Daycare. Over here we have Arts and Crafts. Then you go over here and you got the little, little baby dragons playing in the sandbox. And this one's wearing a cowboy hat. I mean, come on. He's wearing a cowboy hat. So you've got the, the sandbox dragons, and these guys are getting a story read to them. They're so cute. I want to read them a story. And then you got a cute little area over here. Half unicorn, half more. Oh, it's, you know, that explains the, the drawing you had me do. Totally. And then over here... Look, 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 they're napping. Like, they're just sleeping. Just little baby dragons sleeping. With their little stuffed toys. They're so cute. <laughs> I love this expansion. I think I'm just going to keep saying that over and over and over, but I can't help it. I have been having so much fun. All right. We need to head that way because I want to go see if I can find the place to make a snowman. Which, yes, does give you the achievement, do you want to make a snowman? Because of course it does. I just have to remember where I found it. And then I guess I should also check for, you know, herbs and metal so we can keep uh, keep doing that the mountains are mighty here oh hey Mark we can actually get points to mark what if the we dragon just plant scale some banners has discovered. there's one just need to fly through hoops I can do that there's one yay did I get it yes I did Looks like there's one down here somewhere. Where are you? I can see the dot, I just can't find the banner. Oh, there it is. There's one. There's one. How many more do I need? Four more. Yep, already planted that one. Oh, it was almost on the ground. Well, that's kind of a dumb place for it. Alright, 
I need to actually look around. Oh, it was way down there. Isn't that a silly spot for me? Very nice. Ah! Oh my gosh, I ran out of juice before we got to the last one. <laughs> That's okay. All we need to do is go up one more time and we got it. Just have to wait for our energy to recharge a little bit. Which is fine. Everyone who steals those peaks Ooh, will see that the we Dragon got, Scale Expedition is boots. That is pretty dang cool. <laughs> Especially when you consider she's been wearing boots that were level 12, and the boots that she is wearing now are level 236. I think it's an upgrade. Alright, now what? I guess I should look around and see where we are. Also, there are a couple other of these world quests that we might be able to do without killing. Which is incredibly cool. Also, if nobody minds... Don't mind me, you cool herd of buffalo-looking things. We are out here just picking flowers. Don't mind us. We are not here to bother your grazing. Mm, I guess those, those beaver things might mind us a little bit, but, you know, it'll be all right. If we can find some metal, that would be good. The big thing is to not get killed. This is World of Warcraft. Only with the character that I am doing right now, it's more or less World of she's not allowed to kill anything. And we have to make it to max level that way. So it's World of Peacecraft for her. And you know what? We only have nine more levels before she hits max level. Oh, that herb threw us way back. Okay, that was exciting. So mostly what she, um, what she does is pick flowers and mine for ores and explore. And this is the newest Ever expansion. Ever since the came to the plains. Which has if the elements so themselves much are thrown into chaos. Absolutely Help return wonderful the land back stuff to its natural state. That just gets me so happy. Like there is so much stuff that I have been finding in this expansion. It's it's been it's been massively awesome. Let's see if there's anything here. Is there anything in this cave? Darn it, there's nothing in this cave. That's sad. That's okay. Sometimes when you open up the caves, you find treasures, which is exciting. All right, where am I again? Do, 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 do. I want to go this way. Also, it is so much fun. Oh, you got to check this out. Watch. Spin! Wait. Come on. Oh, no, it's that one. No, it's four. Never mind. I'm dumb. All right. Oh, I love World of Warcraft. I've been playing it for years. Okay, ready? I'm gonna do a barrel roll. <laughs> and, I mean, World of Warcraft is... It's as fun as you make it. Like, I know a lot of people that get really, really stressed and they... They want to do all of the big important stuff, which is fine if that's your thing, but personally, my thing is exploring and playing and just having a good time. That, uh, 
that ore is about killing us. Let's heal up again. <laughs> that ore was a little bit molten. But I mean, World of Warcraft is kind of what you make it. You can get really caught up doing the, the dungeons and getting all stressed about everything. Or you can just have fun. I choose to just have fun. Like... Mostly because... I don't know, I guess, I guess I could be considered probably a bad player, but that doesn't really matter to me. I am a player that has a lot of fun. And I love finding dumb things. Like, where we are going, hopefully, is to the upper Frostlands where I can find what I found the other day. As you can tell, there is a lot to be seen out here. And it's really easy to get lost. Keep going. I can see the snow. Once we find all the snowy areas, all I have to do is find the camp that was full of cool little walrus people that were building snowmen so we can help them build a snowman. Also, if you watched my video this morning, um, this is the music that I used as the background music is the music that's going in the background of this. I can turn it up because it's such good music. Like, I will come and just sit on these rocks and listen to the music. <laughs> because this zone has my new favorite. Oh, jeez, there have been dragons in WoW for forever. Like, dragons in World of Warcraft have gone hand in hand for a long time. Sometimes they're enemies, and sometimes they're friends. And sometimes they're both in the same expansion. If you want to see a lot of World of Warcraft, I do a lot of World of Warcraft videos on the channel. Um, and it's all just exploration and different quests that I, I do that I really enjoy. It's uh, World of War Warcraft My Way. Which sometimes involves all sorts of killing things and sometimes doesn't. It just depends on the day. All right, I am seeing another herb up here. Oh, I'm also seeing a bear. Hello, Mr. Bear. Don't mind me. Oh, but I think that is actually good. I think that seeing that bear means I'm close to the place I was looking at. Maybe. Hello, I'm looking for a camp with a bunch of little kids in it. Was it over here? Maybe not. I'm gonna find it before the end of the night. All right, was not here. How much frost lands do we have? It could be up this way. The dragons in World of Warcraft, some of them are really cool too. Like, really, really cool. And like I said, some of them are, are friendly, and some of them are definitely enemies. Oh, jeez. Yeah, um... <laughs> I... I was introduced to World of Warcraft when it first came out and I attempted to play it 
and I absolutely hated it. I thought it was the worst thing I had ever played, and it took me several years to try it again, and that was several years of watching mostly my oldest son playing it, and I was like, okay, wait, this, this looks more interesting now again. And so eventually I tried again, and thankfully they had made a couple of changes to it that made the game easier, and I'm putting the word easier in some massive air quotes. And once I actually started playing it, I was hooked. And I've pretty much been playing it, not non-stop, I take breaks, but I've been playing it since 2000 and either 2008 or 2009. It's been a while. I've been playing this game for a long time. And I have no problem with that. Everybody's like, when are you going to quit playing WoW? And I'm like, why would I quit playing WoW? I'm still having fun. Granted, right now I'm completely lost and hoping to find that place again, but you know, other than that, it's all good. Alright. Is that it? Maybe. Ah! No, 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 bad, bad, bad. Leave me alone. Oh, those guys are also bad. Alright, everybody, we're running away! <laughs> Run away! But you know what? We ran to, for good reason. Obviously we ran because I now see something to mine. Ooh, please don't kill me, Mr. Buffalo looking thing. What's even more fun, Cheryl, is um, World of Warcraft came out a couple years ago with basically their version of Pokemon. So you can do pet battles now, and those are stupidly fun. So you can run around in World of Warcraft and get pets and battle your pets and do all of that silly Pokemon type stuff. And you can actually level that way too. Which I think it's cool. I'm a that they have... I see a wall and I want it climbed. Oh, we Go can actually do this. Alright, let's do some rock climbing. I just need to Where is it? It's right over here. Yep. Alright, let's see if we can climb a wall. We just gotta put on our pack. And we have to, can we get close enough to that to actually climb up there? There we go. All right, what are we looking for? We are looking for draconic artifacts. All right, climbing, we're climbing. I am not seeing any artifacts yet. Oh, there's an artifact. Awesome, can we get it? Nope, a little bit closer. Pretty cool. Ah, that, that one was cold. Oh, no! Wait. Oh, this is kind of awesome. I didn't realize that... How are we not... Hmm. Oh, our grip is totally gone. We have to start back down at the bottom again. Alright. Back up. Alright. I have to remember not to grab the ice if I can avoid it. Or only grab it for a minute. There we go. Good thing. Yes, I know. Oh, no! Good thing we had a parachute. How many artifacts? 
things do we need? We need seven of them. Alright. I see them up there. Let's see. Let's see if we can go up this way and maybe see it well enough. It's like a giant puzzle with a little bit of an interesting stamina bar. I'm also glad I realized I can tip the camera this way. That actually helps a lot. Alright, get the artifact. Good job, us. You've been multitasking. Oh, I love my rice cooker. You know, I have never had curry. I am ashamed to say. It is something I have never had or, or even made. One day, maybe. Alright, we need two more artifacts. There's one. And then, unfortunately, it looks like we're gonna have to grab the frost rock. Quick, 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 quick. No! Down we go. I wish I could, like... I wish I could get the artifacts. Oh! You know, if I die, I'm... <laughs> I'm gonna be so mad. <laughs> okay. Oh, neat! What kind of a craft are you doing? Oh, do you guys want to see, um... Let me revive myself and finish up this quest and then I can show you the silly digital drawing that I did. I actually think it turned out pretty good. I've been working a little bit on that whole art thing some more. I can't believe we died. I'm so mad about that. It's okay, though. Alright, where is the bottom? Oh, we gotta go get the pack again and the whole nine yards. That's okay. Grab our pack. Run back over. We can do it this time. I know we can. Alright, let's look up there again. I see it. Alright, let's go. I'm seeing the path I need to take. Alright, that one. Quick, there we go. All good. Our grip is running out. That's never good. Ah, Fine work. We did it. We'll see if we kind of put those materials Yay. to good use. Oh, we got a new shirt too. That's pretty cool. Let's put that on. Yeah, that is way better. All right, do you guys want to see the uh, the the thing that I drew today digitally? Oh, you know that's like the um, the candles that I made last year. I melted down a bunch of wax from old candles and then I after I got it melted down I put it into mason jars that I had melted with new wicks in it. It turned out pretty good. Not perfect but pretty good. All right let me see if I can do this. All right hopefully I can find it and there it is. Hopefully you are seeing it I'm not sure if it's going to come up on screen. Yep. I, I did. Uh, I was scrolling around on Twitter and I found this picture. It was a photograph of a lady who had uh, dressed up their dog. It was a Pomeranian to look like Paddington. And it was so cute. I had to try to draw it. So that was the newest thing that i have attempted to draw digitally it didn't turn out terrible i guess so yay drawing is fun oh yeah i will definitely look for that on instagram that'll be cool okay back to world of warcraft
it was a quick one and I didn't do any of the uh, the layers thing you know like you're supposedly supposed to but it was still a lot of fun all right this is gonna almost kill me but that's okay we have all of these fun healings. have to you know do some of these healy things and hopefully we won't die as I keep looking for the snowman. I, it was just one of those things, I was sitting there and like I said, just scrolling through Twitter and I saw the picture and I just really wanted to try to draw it. And then it actually turned out not terrible and I was very, very happy. Because sometimes I see something, whether it be on Twitter or somewhere else, and I'm like, oh, I'm going to draw that. And then I try to draw it, and it comes out absolutely horribly. But that time, I don't think it was too bad. I'm slowly trying to figure out this whole um, digital drawing thing. I haven't quite gotten there yet. I still get incredibly easily confused by what I'm doing. But that's okay. It'll be fine. It'll be even more fine if I can find this stupid camp because I want to make a snowman. I might have to do a quick Google search. Because it's something that I stumbled across just sort of on accident. And finding it again is proving to be harder than I want. But that's okay, because we're still finding all this nice mining stuff to do. Which is pretty much how I found it last time. I was just kind of flying around, minding my own business, trying to mine an herb on a different character and the next thing I knew I found a bunch of kids making a snowman so I joined them because when you see a bunch of kids out in World of Warcraft and they're building a snowman of course you're gonna build one with them look at the little porcupines oh they're so cute oh my goodness I want to give them a cuddle Somehow I don't think he wants a cuddle from me, but I want to give him a cuddle. A snowman. Of course I want to build a snowman. It's really, really hard to find it. Oh, neat! I bet the bath poops made an interesting paint texture. Let's see what's up on top of this. Hopefully it's nothing that will kill me. It looks like a closed door. Huh. What else is up? Is there anything in here? I want to see. Nothing? Oh. I am so pouty. I'm like, fine, if there's nothing good in there. Ooh, that's, that's just a random centaur out here in the middle of the woods. Well uh, then. What are you doing here? Ah, it's a good Go location well. for a grand hunt. Well, that's good. I am looking for a bunch of little kids making snowmen. I do remember it was kind of in a blind valley. Maybe it was up here? Maybe. I feel like I've been here about five times already. It has not been here, but we'll look again. Also, I see an herb. Oh, I do remember it was by like a river. This. 
be near. Sorry, I'm babbling to myself like a crazy person. I'm not crazy, I'm only mildly crazy. Alright. That's what that was, yeah, we've been here, and this is not it, I don't think. Then it might be. If I don't find it here in a few minutes. Ah! Okay. I liked their house. So rude of them not to let me play in their house. Wait. Nope. This is not it, but it's just another, another cool little camp. All right, I'm gonna Google really quick. Hello, Franco. I am searching for a place to make a snowman. So I'm gonna do a really quick Google search because I've done it before and I can't find it now. So I'm just gonna really quick do a Google search. Hopefully they will tell me where it is. Come on, Google. You can do it. Just show it to me on the map and I will be a very happy human. Uh, this is not helping. Why are you telling me waypoints? I don't care where the waypoint is. Do you want to build a snowman? Of course I do. But I also want to see where it is. Maybe that'll work. Please tell me that you have a map for me to see. <sighs> you know, I hate it when they're just being completely unhelpful. All right, we're just going to keep looking. I'm going to find it. I am going to find the snowman so I can sing really badly. Because singing badly is what I do. Oh, neat. Have you found a lot? Picking this thing that always makes me frost it. We just wait, 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 wait. Alright, I'm gonna look at the map. Oh, I bet it's over here. I bet it's over here. Alright. Am I pointed in the right direction? I am. Have, I mean, the only YouTube painting stuff that I've ever really watched is either Bob Ross or Jazza. I think that's his name. Who amuses the heck out of me. In fact, I think some of my favorite YouTube videos that I watched were Jazza trying to follow Bob Ross tutorials. Those were hilarious. Okay, I don't want to go there. Alright, well that is good. I do remember that the place I found was by a river. Oh, I could imagine that there are. Let's go this way. I am going to find this stupid place to make a snowman. <laughs> I'm so cranky. I should not be so cranky. I know it's around here somewhere. I just have to find it.
But this is very pretty. Have you ever watched um, Jazza? I think his name is. He makes me laugh a lot. Plus, he's like so good of an artist. It's almost unfair. People that are that talented sometimes just make me very, 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 very jealous. snowman. Oh well, if I can't find the snowman, I can go someplace that I do remember how to get to. And then we'll come back and look for the snowman again. We're gonna go sledding. If I can't find snowmen, I can definitely find us a, a hill to go sledding on. Which, yes, is another thing that I found out you can do in World of Warcraft. At least in this expansion. Jay Lee. I have not heard of Jay Lee. What style of painting do, do, do they do? Wait, is this it? Ah! I found it! I found it. We're going to build a snowman. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I did that. Um, if you want to just laugh your, your head off, watch all of Jazza's various, um, painting in the style of Bob Ross paint videos. They are so funny. Okay, so you see, we got kids, they're making snowmen. <laughs> And we can make a snowman, too. We just have to roll up the snowballs that we find. So, here we go. We're going to make a snowman. We'll zoom in so we can really see the thing. There we go. Yay. Almost first person. We could do, We could totally go first person. That's a, whoop, that's a big snowball. We gotta make sure that the snowball is bigger than we are. And this is, it's such a hard spot to find because there's nothing associated with it. There's no quests. This is nothing that you have to do. It's just a random thing that you can do. Also, the, the little Tuscar children are so cute. <laughs> Look at them. Well, what are you? Hmm? Mamas is my test will be bigger than a mammoth. <laughs> They're so cute. <laughs> it takes so little to amuse me. We got to get a good base for our snowman. Oh, trees and forest seedings are the best. Right. We're getting a good base here. I think in real life, this snowball would be getting extremely hard to push. Also, I feel like I just am about to roll up these kids, which might be a little bit rude. Oh, good night. Sleep well. All right, second snowball. Let's make another one. We do you want to build a snowman? Don't drop it in the water. That would be bad. Have, like, the most amazing sleep ever. 
which is always my goal. I rarely actually succeed at it, but it is always my goal. this back. I don't want I don't want this to end up being bigger than our base. Whee. I cannot tell you like I didn't even know there there is an achievement tied to this which I did not know the first time I did it. I just did it because I wanted to build a snowman. And because I've been having so much fun in this expansion with all of the silly stuff that you can do. That is not tied to anything. Alright. That should be pretty good. Alright. Whoa, wait a minute. Threw that way out of there. Let's get it close to that one. There we go. Alright, gotta build the next one. Yay, one more. Thankfully, this is going to be the head, so it can be a little bit smaller. So, I haven't seen Eleanor tonight. Which is too bad, because I was going to thank them again for the absolutely beautiful picture that they did of of Higgy that I put in in the um, music video from the Billy Joel video that I did. It was a very very nice picture. It made me cry but then again I think Tuesday everything made me cry. Look! We made a snowman! It's kind of a sad snowman. And he's missing his eyes. But we made a snowman! Yay! Like I said, it's the silly things in this game. Oh, actually, before I take off, there was one other silly thing that I found over here, which is just too cool. If you talk to this little kid, <laughs> Mama he says, says, My will be Did you know that mammoth. there are animals that can blend in with the snow? Mama told me to wear these glasses to protect my eyes when I'm outside, but I do it because it helps me spot my snowy friends better. Do you want to try it? Yes, I would love oh, okay, to try bye. these sunglasses. And now, we are wearing snow glare glasses. We're looking a little bean too. And the best part about it is until I get some new uh, head things, I get to wear these sunglasses like forever. Well, almost forever. Alright, and I see some metal up above us. Is it high, high above us, or is it just right where we can get it? Good question. Looks like it should be right here somewhere. Hello, metal. I see you on the map, but I don't see you. Oh. Didn't see it because it was right in front of my face. Also, we are very close to leveling up again, which is extremely cool. But before we level up again, we're going sledding. Because I want to go sledding. And I also want to get into a snowball fight. Why do I want to do these things? Well, just because I can. Ooh, that's an herb. Ah! Never mind. The herb is full in a place that is full of things that wanted to chew on my rear end. have to do a little bit of swimming for it.
we've always been at least a little bit off, and then we're gonna land again because I keep finding more more metal. I love just kind of crashing. I'm always a little bit afraid that my poor character is going to actually hurt herself, but she hasn't yet, so that's good. You know, you just land, get a little bit of herbs. Ah! No, 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 run away, run away, run away. Leave me alone. You don't want to hurt me. I am a cute little monk. That's exciting. Ooh. Nothing like landing on a waterfall to gather an herb. Now this is another spot I just randomly found. <laughs> and I was like, this is, oh, he threw a snowball at me. All right, that's it, Icky. Ha ha. <laughs> Gonna tell mom. If you come here with another player, you can actually get into a snowball fight with the other player. It's kind of adorable. <laughs> Meanie. I'm not mean. And you can also climb up and go sledding. It's so dumb. And you can, you, you get to uh, go sledding with the littlest of them. I can't believe they're still throwing snowballs at me. How rude. Look at her. Isn't she just the cutest little thing? <laughs> I am a gnome. Let's go sledding. Yay! Whee! She's so cute. And then she wants to do it again. But as soon as you get to the bottom, all these guys keep pelting the Hello. snowballs. So mean. Anyway, as you can tell, I am a goober who really gets easily amused. Oh. Huh. The boat was in the fatigue zone. That's a little bit weird. entire village full of Tuscars. Because why not? If you can't tell, this is like my absolute favorite zone. I think probably because of the music. There's something about the the sounds of the violins. They just make me happy. <laughs> and there are actually a couple of quests that we can do here. Greetings, stranger. So, 
come back we for you. Familiarize Bring more tales when next we meet. We can also see where we stand with them. They don't know us very much at all. But that's I'll okay. pass your story along. And we can also go down here and see these guys who are so cute. Oh my gosh, they're all so cute. Hello! <laughs> But the cutest one is this one over here. Whoa, what are you? He plays the drums sometimes. Mama says my tusks will be bigger than a mammoth. Ugh, they're so cute. Why are they so cute? I don't know why they're so cute. They just are. So, we just need to talk to all of the glowing people. I have plenty to offer. Yes. I'll put something aside for you next time. Thank you. I would appreciate that. Goodness, Hello, you're sir. new. Yes. Do come see me again. I will totally come see you again sometime. Probably not on this character, though. So on one of my characters, they are good friends with these guys, and they have just a cosmetic cap with ear flaps. It's so cute. Actually, I think I could probably put it on this character as well, honestly. Yes? What is it you need? Alright, need to talk to one more dude, and then we will get some more points. I am excited. Also, you can tell that this is a pretty popular area by all of the players that are running around over here. What do you have to trade? You know, I might have a lot of things to trade. Let's see. I would like to give you that. And... That. That. Actually, I don't have much to trade for you. You don't want that. Neither do I have. Your goods are greatly appreciated. But, on a good note, that is all of this. Yay! Hello! Off we go. The day just became more interesting. I Careful out it. there. Which was cool. That's a few more experience points. Now, I am going to park her down there while I run really quick and declare a human break. I will probably come back with a cat. Don't mind me. So give me about a minute and a half or so and I will return with a kitty cat and we can maybe get, maybe get a full level. That would be good. So give me just a minute. I need to do... I guess I should pull that off there so it's not on that screen for you. And I'll be back in one to two minutes.
and I am back and I am actually going to remember to transition the webcam so everybody can see Mr. Parky. He's a big dumb kitty. But he's a good kitty, aren't you, Parky? Say hello to your public. He's a good whether or not he stays on my lap is another question, because he's already looking like he wants to run. Although he's holding on to my arm pretty tight, so maybe. Alright. Oh, he is sitting on my lap. Yay, Parky! <laughs> Alright, let's go level. Parky, don't mind me. I'm going to rest my arm on you. He's a good fat boy. He's like, would you stop? I woke him up to stick him on my lap, so he might be a little irritated with me. But that's okay. I'm the one that feeds you. Let's go find some more herbs and all of that other good stuff. Also, is there a quest here that we could actually do? Probably not. Probably not, but that's okay. We will pick flowers and do all of those other exciting things and hopefully not get killed. These are the goals. Pick flowers, find metal, don't die. I see a flower. Oh, that flower is in a very bad spot. Never mind. I'm, I would love to rescue all of those people, but that would probably require trying to shoot them. And I would also love to get that herb, but that would require shooting people. You know, Parky is a lot of fun, but he's a very big boy and a little bit on the heavy side. Oh, please don't die. Please don't die. Please keep soaring long enough to... Ah! Alright. It's fine. Just keep running. Just keep running until our dragon can take off again. All right. I think this metal is metal we can actually get to. Yay! You know, I bet that that goat would headbutt us right off the hill if it could. Why do I keep finding this metal that hurts me? Very, very rude. It's okay. We will just heal ourselves up and hope that we don't die of lava burns from our metal. All will be well. So, Becky, had you not, um, never read Tales of a Fourth Grade Nothing? I remember reading it when I was about in fourth grade, honestly. Which, it was one of those, like I said, the, the whole eat it or wear it thing. Kind of lived rent the gnomes had in ambushed my head a caravan and taken prisoners. For a very long Show time. them that the Tuscar have mighty allies and bring our people home. Lady, I would love to, unfortunately, that you want me to kill things, and I can't do that. I'm sorry. Mm. 
I am here to pick flowers and bash rocks. Also, Parky is now using my arm as his headrest. I don't know if you can see it or not, but he's using my arm as a pillow. He's like, if you're gonna make me be on your lap, I am gonna use you as a chin rest because he's a goofy cat. He is 1000% a goofy, goofy cat. I don't know if you could actually see him when I did that, but there he is using me as a sleepy rest because he's a silly boy. Definitely a silly boy. Oh, fudge. Fudge sounds much cuter to read about as a character in a book then if if he was actually your sibling he would probably drive you absolutely bonkers but to read about his little adventures is kind of adorable you're like oh look at little fudgy he's just uh, gonna fly and knock his front teeth out But yeah, the whole eat it or wear it thing, that was... Okay, are you... You getting down? Alright. There you go. Bye, Parky! Parky, you made me just fly into a tree. It's okay, though. Because you're a cat, and cats can do almost no wrong. But could you imagine actually having a sibling like that? Tonight's chapter, the one that I read tonight, always makes me laugh because of the little girl that just pees on the rug. I feel like I babysat that little girl at least once or twice in my life. Because little kids are essentially feral animals. Oh jeez. <laughs> it sounds like it would be a handful to care for. We're, we're going to go with a handful. Like, might be really cute, but a, a handful, definitely. Alright, I see another metal. It's probably in this waterfall right up above us. Ah, there's something that's going to eat me. Alright, fly away. You know, all of these animals should know that I am a nice, peaceful monk who's not going to hurt them, and obviously they should not want to hurt me. We are friends. Monks are friends, not food. I wish I could get a sign that she just wears on her that says, friends, not food. I can't... Did, did you listen to tonight's chapter, Becky? Because that, that was the one with the birthday party. Which... Always makes me laugh even harder because I'm like... Yeah, you... You, you don't expect a birthday party for a group of three-year-olds to really go off without a hitch anyway. It's one of those where you're like, okay, this is a group of three-year-olds. They have the attention span of a gnat and all sorts of weird phobias and things like that, so... Y you almost expect the party to be a disaster, which it it was in the in the book. The party was pretty much a disaster. Hi there, don't mind me. <laughs> oh, it's you know, it's still not as amazing as the eat it or wear it. I just I absolutely love the eat it or wear it. 
but it's still pretty dang good. As I scan, looking for things to mine, or pick, or mine, or pick. Ooh, let's not land there. That would be bad. Oh, look at this big cave. Ever yeah. since the primalists big came cave. to the plains, Full as of if the elements themselves are thrown it's into chaos. Help return the land back to its natural state. I think I just get such a kick out of flying around. Like, I'm not entirely sure that I would never want to go back to normal flying again, but this is a lot of fun. It, it's a very active flight way of flying, but it's still... Hey, I can get... I can say hello and get another flight path. Hi, thank you. And then I can maybe... Yep, I see the metal up there. Fly over here. Mine a little bit of ore. Also, I have got parky hair all over my face now. It's almost like... Uh, it almost feels like the cats think that spring is coming, and I'm hoping that they know something that I don't know, and that spring might actually be coming. But then again, the weather report that I saw today is calling for another snowstorm next week, and I'm like, no, I'm so tired of snowstorms. Can it just be spring already? I'm ready to start thinking about, you know, starting seeds, and I really want to build a raised bed, because I think that would be so much fun to actually put a planter in. A big old raised bed planter would be nice. All of these things I would like to do that kind of require it to not be winter anymore. You know what, maybe I should have been mining and, and irving over here, because I'm getting a whole bunch of stuff. I'm just finding... Oh, look at this frog. <laughs> I'm not going to attack you, Mr. Frog. You are like six times bigger than me. Oh, hey, we leveled. Yay! Alright. It does not matter, so we're just going to be... And then we're going to jump on here and go down and get this stuff. And hopefully there's nothing that will want to eat us. Because I'm seeing all sorts of things to pick. Oh yes, I would like to pick that flower, please. And I would like to get this bit of ore, please. And hopefully these dumb little fish cannot come out and get me. Because that would be bad. Swim away, fish. I can't call my dragon until you, you know, decide to leave me alone. There we go. Here, this piece of ore. We jumped off our dragon and got interrupted because we couldn't breathe. Becky, have you been, um, have you been listening to Partnership? I think that you would like that one if you have been listening to it. It's a really good story. Oh, these are bad guys. Let's stay away from the bad guys. Let's just go this way. Parky, I hear you meow. Did you go upstairs and bother Zia? 
I mean, not that you would ever do that. You are a sweet, innocent kitty that never does anything bad. like we're flying underwater. Yay for flying underwater. Parky likes to pretend that he is a sweet little kitty that never does anything bad, but we know better. He is a menace. He's just a very cute menace. Ooh, what's down here? Other than metal! Yay! in droves I'm go sure gather they meat they for us and bring back them. stories of your exploits which we're not gonna do no spearing fish Ooh, but we will totally go over here and mine this bit of ore. also there is a treasure up above us that is probably guarded but we'll go up and check sneak over there or not. <laughs> probably not. That thing will probably eat me. I still see a treasure somewhere down here. Nifty little treasure chest indicating it is somewhere around here. I just have to find it. Oh, there's, I think you would like, um, the one that I'm going to be starting in, not tomorrow night, but I think it's the next night, I think you'll really like. Also, I have heard of a way to get behind this frog without killing it. It's just going to require Lariah to uh, sacrifice herself. Ah! Which um, is easier said than done, you would think, now that I see this. And I haven't tried this trick yet. So now I really want to try it. So no one get too distressed. Lorio is about to commit a little bit of seppuku here. All right, cool. Drop. Ah, cool. All right, cool. That was on purpose. Because we need to get behind that frog and resurrect. And if this works right, I will end up with a new pet. Oh my gosh, it does work! Yes, I will totally resurrect now, thank you very much. Oh, I got a frog! <laughs> thank you, YouTube. We got a little pink frog. Oh my gosh, I'm, gonna, I'm so excited. Let's pull out the pink frog that I just got and look at it. I love it when stuff actually works. Oh my gosh, she's pink and purple. Come here, Mr. Frog. 
Oh, look at our new frog. Look at how cute he is! Oh, hello, little froggy. You are so cute. It sounds like it's been a rough winter. It's... Yeah. I definitely... have had easier winters. And then, to top it all off, I have just not felt like myself. Parky, what are you yelling about? Come here. Come here. Parky. You want to play, don't you? Okay. Parky just jumped into a box because he wants to play. Oh, the frog is adorable. Oh my god, he just ate a fly! <laughs> okay, he's very cute. He was worth dying for. Oh, uh, I can't remember the YouTube channel that I was watching that exposed that trick of how to do that, but... Whoever you are, I am very grateful because I have a cute new frog. And I'm so excited about that. Like he's pink and purple. How much how much cuter can you get? I don't think you can get cuter. My absolutely Where is this metal? <laughs> okay, these frogs are also cute. Ooh! Alright! Egg guy. I need an egg guy. Except I really don't need an egg guy because I'm about the only one in my house that actually eats eggs. My oldest son will occasionally eat eggs, but they just aren't really his thing. Which, with egg prices the way they are, is probably a good thing now, but I'm like, the eggs are good for you. Ooh, hello. All of you people here at the Life Vault Ruins. I've actually ended up getting a whole bunch of really cute new pets this expansion. And I have had a lot of fun getting them. Alright, I would like to at least get halfway through this level. If I can get halfway through... Ah, what a cute. That just launched me all the way up here. For better or for worse, I don't know. Where will it launch from this? Oh, that's cool! Hmm. Well, here we go. Or herb. But yeah, I've been having... Probably far more fun than I should running around these Dragon Isles. I feel like I've been repeating myself a lot. I'm sorry. It's been one of those nights. Let's see what's over here. Also, there have been a couple of quests in, in the Dragon Isles that are somber and sad. Still very good quests, but definitely on the more somber and sad side. But there have been lots of really cute heartwarming quests too. Like, there was one quest I did that I'll probably do a video on because it was just the cutest darn thing I've seen in a while. 
where you help a little kid who wants to be brave, so he wants to go and beat up a giant yeti, only when you go in to help him beat up the yeti, it turns out that the yeti is very, very peaceful and doesn't want to fight. So you, your character, like, signs to this yeti to, to please just pretend to die. So the little kid runs in with his little wooden sword and he hits the yeti on the knee and the yeti does this big dramatic death scene. And then after the kid gets all proud of himself and goes running out, the yeti gives you a thumbs up. It was, it was very cute. I was like, that is such a cute quest. Ah, no, 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 no. Don't eat me. Rude. So rude. Why are you trying to bite me? I keep telling you, creatures, that monks are friends, not food. Oh, you're cute. Ooh, there's also... Oh, there's a really cool thing that we can do if I can get up a little bit higher. There it is. Ah! No, 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 no. I need to get up a little bit higher. That's okay. We're almost there. <laughs> you know, they can't be much worse on shedding than my cats. Oh my goodness. I think, um... Parky, Jezebel, and Zia are just... They are trying to be the worst shedders possible. So in case you're wondering what I'm doing, I am trying to get up there to that little flag so I can click it. But the landing part is kind of hard. Get up there. Ha! Ha ha! Look at me. I am a good flyer. Because when you click the flag, you get a panoramic view. And you can see the whole dragon Dragonlance. Or at least the 360 of where you're at. Very pretty. Yay! That was so much fun. It takes almost nothing to keep me amused. Can I land on that? I want to land on the telescope. gonna crash right into that rock. It's just, it's so funny with the Yeti thing, because most Yetis in World of Warcraft will kill you. <laughs> like, and, and the fact that they decided to make a peace-loving Yeti that helps you, like, make a little kid happy. I was like, that is just such a Sweet and wholesome. Every time I do these uh, these quests in this new expansion, those are the words that keep coming to mind. I'm like, why is this expansion so sweet and wholesome? I love it. And then there's all sorts of just silly stuff. Like every once in a while, you'll find something on the ground and th that you can click and just a couple days ago i was running around and i saw a shining thing on the ground in front of my character so i clicked it and it turned out it was a butterfly lamp and for 30 minutes my character had a cloud of butterflies that followed her everywhere that she went. And it was the cutest darn thing. I was like, really? 
I just have random butterflies that are following me everywhere I go? Okay. I've done a lot of smiling while playing World of Warcraft lately because of all this just cuteness. Oh my gosh, he's cute too. I should have known better than to try and escape the frost before it melted. There we go. Hi. They have- oh my god! <laughs> the Tuskar kids are in floaties. <laughs> Mama says my tusks will be bigger than a mammoth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, can I ride on that? No. But I can pretend that I'm riding on it. Whoa, what are you? Oh my gosh, they're so cute. And there's a baby otter. I think they're just vacationing. That's so cute. I have never been here before. This is cool. Look at all these. Oh my gosh. Look, they got... Oh, they got babies. Well, hello, IBISMK2. Glad to have you here. I am running around and squeeing at all of the cute things in the Dragon Isles. Because everything is adorable. <gasps> oh my gosh, what's down here? I love the Autonks! They're so cute! Well, what are you? <laughs> I guess I should probably do that periodically. Hey, if you're enjoying yourself, uh, hit the thumbs up button or something. I don't know, they tell us to do that. Look at him, he's eating! Fish, 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 fish. <laughs> Why is everything so cute in this expansion? I don't get it. I'm not going to complain about it, but I don't get it. I think it's just so that I walk around with this dumb smile on my face. Alright, I probably should get back to picking flowers or something. Look, there's a flower. And there's something up ahead. I think once I get her out of rest experience, that's probably going to be it for this week. Can't believe it's been two hours already. Time really does go by so fast. I love finding new spots. Like, every time I feel like I have found everything, I find another spot that I'm like, hey, I've never been here. Cool. I am kind of proud of us. We made another level, which is usually the goal. I just flew into a tree because I am just that skilled. Alright, it's still up above. 
There it is. Why is there a duck all the way on top of this giant rock? That is a very good question. Let's see here. Like these are so Oh, well thank you so much. Ibis MK2. Thank you very, very much. That is the cutest super sticker. The the hippo is kind of adorable. We're gonna fly around a little bit more, see what we can see, maybe find a couple more flowers that don't kill us. I wonder if I have enough guts to try a race. Should I try a race? Yeah, let's try one race. The waters flow again. I'm going to lose because I'm Aspects very bad watch at watch over you. But all we have to do is follow the gold rings. This is farther than I got the first time I tried doing this. Oh my gosh, I did it! Yay! <laughs> I can't believe I actually did it! Yay! That is so awesome! I, I, my race time was 53,215 seconds. Or is it 53? Oh, it's 53 and 2.15. Oh my gosh, that was actually a lot of fun. Maybe I'm going to be a dragon rider. Like an actual dragon racer from now on. Because that was actually a lot of fun. We could try one more. I do see another, another dragon race we could try. Watch, I did one good dragon race, and that's gonna be it. I'll lose every other one. But that was a lot of fun, so we're, we're, we're gonna do one. It is a bright day with exceptionally favorable winds. A perfect day for a race. It does seem like a perfect day for a race. Oh wait, am I racing other people? The waters flow again. Sure, I'd like to try this course. Fly through the gold rings. We can do it. Oh, this one's going through a lot. Back on 
Nicely done. You and your Drake are exceptional. Did it again. Yay. <laughs> okay, that that was not as good as the first one I did, but that's okay. And I think we just made a bunch of money, which is kind of cool. Okay, I was really intimidated by the idea of dragon racing because the first time I did it, I did a terrible job. But now, I'm having a lot of fun. <laughs> so, that was kind of cool. Alright, well, this is about where we're going to end it though. We are at our usual two hours, so I am going to take Lorio to some place where she can gain rest experience. Because we like rest experience. It is a good thing. And we will be back with our lovely, lovely Blorio in two weeks. Next week we will be doing The Sims again. And seeing how many, um, how many more babies we can have after we did our remodel. I think we'll be able to get a couple, you know. We do seem to be doing pretty good at it. Thank you again, IbisMK2, for your super sticker. I appreciate it. And I will see you guys next time. Have a good one.